The Tabard Inn um, dates back to 1922, um, and it's a hotel and a restaurant. We have 40 hotel rooms, and we have about 150 seats in our restaurant. We have 105 employees, um, some of whom are part-time. Prior to the passage of the, the sick leave law in 2008, the Tabard Inn did provide um, sick leave and vacation pay to all of its employees with the exception of our directly tipped servers. When the law was passed, um, there was one provision, I think, that uh, um, in which the sick leave um, was um, um, basically applied to part-time employees. I think, I, I don't know what the threshold is. I'd have to go check. So um, we had um, not been giving sick leave to part-time employees. Um, and so starting in 2008, we, we began to do that. Once we made the change, it was extremely straightforward. And um, the really, from a human resource standpoint, it's actually quite simple. If an employer is worried about abuse of sick days, and there are some reasons to be worried. Um, not every employee necessarily has the interest of the business at heart. Um, and hopefully employers have hired people that actually share the vision and love the place and won't um, abuse this benefit. But if an employer is worried about abusive sick days, they can ask for a doctor's note. And so on occasion, I've asked for doctor's um, notes. Sick leave is one of a variety of different expenses that an employer has to pay to run a business and to have employees in the first place. I mean, there's workman compensation insurance. Um, there's, you know, you offer vacation because you want to get the best employees. And that gives you a little advantage over attracting better employees if you bear that expense. Um, you, you have to view it, you have to view the, the expense of sick leave as one of many, many different expenses that you as an employer are going to try to manage.